Should I buy a revolver or a semi-automatic pistol? That's a good question. I get asked this question quite often by people who are new to guns, and my answer is not what you think it may be. I grew up in the 70s and 80s when just about all the movies and TV shows had a revolver as the main pistol used, aside from perhaps James Bond, who used a semi-automatic Walter PPK. Otherwise, cops, mobsters, and cowboys use revolvers in real life and the movies. And which one were you? Nowadays, you rarely see them. Semi-automatic pistols rule the show. Back then, Dirty Harry had his mighty 44 Magnum revolver. Go ahead. Make my day. Today, it's John Wick and his Hackler and Koch or Taran Tactical semi-automatic pistols. Somehow, I couldn't see John Wick with a revolver. Could you? Think about it. Dirty Harry chased and cornered one bad guy. John Wick? Fought ninjas, assassins, soldiers, and robots in just one scene. A revolver wouldn't work for Johnny. He'd be toast for sure. Now for us mere mortals, our lives are not choreographed on a movie set. We don't have stunt doubles to fight our fights and do the things we can while we take all the credit. We're just trying to defend ourselves and our loved ones and want to pick the tools that would help us do that with the least amount of trouble. For some, a revolver would be better, and for others, a semi-automatic pistol. We're here to help you figure out which is better for you. So let's get started. Number one, learn the skills. Before you buy either one, learn the fundamental shooting skills. They apply to both revolvers and semi-automatic pistols with minor adjustments. Without a good foundation, you won't be effective with either one, and that could cost you or someone you love their life. Most certified instructors will have both types of pistols for you to learn with. Oh, how convenient. Number two, know your limitations. Revolvers are simpler to operate. They rarely, if ever, experience malfunctions, have no slide to rack, which many people find difficult, and they are easier to safety check, clean, and maintain. So if your eye-hand coordination isn't optimal or you prefer something simple with less moving parts, then a revolver may be for you. I don't like anything with moving parts that are not my own. Number three, simplicity comes at a price. No, I don't mean the sticker price. There is a revolver for almost any budget. The price I'm talking about is what you sacrifice for the simplicity of a revolver. Is it a human sacrifice of some kind? <laughs> First, capacity. Revolvers typically have very limited capacity, five or six rounds. You can get eight in a 22 caliber revolver. Semi-automatic pistols can carry multiples of that if you so wish. That can make all the difference when you have a stubborn attacker who won't drop or multiple attackers to contend with. Next is the trigger. Revolvers typically have a much heavier trigger. If you have weak hand and finger strength, that can be a problem. You can bypass that by cocking the hammer before each shot. But cocking the hammer may be a challenge and will also slow you down if you have to shoot fast multiple times. Then there is reloading. There is a greater chance you may need to reload your revolver in an attack due to the low capacity. Reloading a semi-automatic takes about two to three seconds. A revolver may take twice as long or longer depending on your skill level. You may not have the luxury of time when under attack. Some of my students simply don't want to deal with loading magazines, wrecking slides, and dealing with malfunctions. They just want to point and shoot. How dare they? The majority, however, prefer semi-automatic ones, as do I. The key is to learn how to operate and shoot both, know your circumstances and objectives as a gun owner, and the pros and cons of your decision. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and watch the next video right here. Train hard, often, and safely, and I'll see you at the range.